My last video was uh, installing the transducer and fish finder in the John boat. Well, this video is going to be about repairing your John boat with uh, uh, an air hammer and some rivets. So what happened was my battery bounced up and down from hitting a pothole. It bounced up and down and knocked about, uh, I don't know, let's see, about two, four, six, about six or seven rivets out of my boat. And now I have holes in it, so I'm not going to transport the battery in the boat anymore. So I'm going to show you how to fix these rivets using the air hammer and a rivet tool. So this is what I'm talking about right here. My battery bounced up, dented that. It ripped all of these out. See, it ripped the rivet out, ripped those out. So I'll show you how to repair this and make it watertight again. First thing I need to do is bend this lip back up. I bent some of it back up already, but I need to get it level again. So I'm gonna bend this back up all the way across. And then, um, then I'm going to get in here and cut out these rivets. If you don't have anybody to help you at the moment, then uh, use some locking pliers to hold the rivet side in place while you drill it. Alright, so I drilled one rivet out already. I'll show you what I did here. I just uh, center punched right in the center of the rivet. There's a couple more. And then I'll use a small drill bit right in the center. And on the other side, I have a locking pliers holding the, the rivet in place. We'll start with a small bit first. Now I'm going up a size uh, 11 64, just one size below 3 16. So this is on the top side. I've got the five rivets drilled out and I uh, cleaned the area in between here so I can put the epoxy in there. Now it's time to pound the bottom up to the seat. Now I've got to bend this back up into the seat and I'm just going to use a hammer here and some wood. Next thing I need to do before I mix up the epoxy is go ahead and sand around where these uh, rivet heads are going to be. I'll just sand each one of those. Then I'll get a family member out here to hold a sledgehammer on the other side. And then I'll use the, uh, the air hammer to drive the rivet in. So this is the epoxy I'm going to use. I bought the G-Flex 650. It's got a hardener and resin. There's another brand uh, called Gluvit. And that's highly recommended too, but it was a little bit more expensive in a bigger can. I just needed enough to do this little area here. So that's why I bought this stuff instead. All right, so I have to mix equal parts of this. So I've already got these cut open. I'm gonna mix them up into this. I'm just gonna squeeze out the same amount. I just gotta mix it up. Use an old toothbrush. Oh man, this stuff stinks. So I got about 45 minutes of working time with this. Um, just gotta make sure it's mixed real well. All right, so I'm gonna get some on the toothbrush. Just push it up underneath there. This. There we go. I got it way up under there that time. So I'm going to go ahead and put some epoxy around this hole. And I'm going to push the rivet up through there. 
All right, about ready. All right, I got the rivet in. Now I'm gonna use the air hammer on it, and I have a partner on the other side holding a sledgehammer against it. All right. Look at it real quick and see if, oh no, it's loose. Keep it on there, ready? So this is the uh, beginning of the epoxy. It'll take a while to dry, like four to four to seven hours, something like that. Um, so I like to point out my mistakes so you guys don't make any mistakes. But on this one and this one, I went a little too far on the air hammer and it folded the uh, this side of the rivet over, but it's still holding. So I just epoxied over everything. Um, I think that'll hold, still hold well. It's not gonna leak. I added some epoxy to the uh, top of the rivets on the underside of the boat also to keep it from leaking. It should work fine.